Hi everyone, how you doing? All right, so I'm coming to you from uh, Hol Pine Grove Holiday Park in Esperance. Couldn't remember where we were <laughs> in Esperance. I'm just going to do it at the campsite today. Um, another seated standing class for you. This class though, we're going to do a lot more standing stuff, okay? So if you need to stop at any point, make sure that you do all the usual things, listen to your body, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, so like I said, we're gonna start standing. So I'm gonna move my chair out of the way. And we're gonna stand up nice and tall. Hopefully you can see all of me, I think so. <laughs> all right, let's just loosen up. I want you to make sure you're standing up nice and tall. So you wanna have your feet underneath your hip bones. So ladies, not out here, okay? Not in too close either, just a little gap. That means their feet are right underneath you for your balance. All right, let's just float those arms up, take a breath in and float them back down. Then we're gonna go out to the side up and all the way back down. Let's do that again, breathing in and out and then breathing in and out. Good, I'm gonna get you to take your feet a little wider, bring that right arm up and over, stretch out. You don't have to go too far, and you can use your other hand here to support you, okay? Then over to the other side, stretching out. Good, and bring it back in. Let's bring the legs back in. Okay, now, if your chair is close by, you can use that. So, excuse the noise. Okay, you can use it for balance if you need to, but stand up nice and tall. We're just gonna roll through the feet, tapping one heel at a time down to the floor. Rise up, tap, rise up, tap. Good, now when you sink down onto the heel, I don't want you to sink into your hips, okay? Keep those hips right underneath you. So again, make sure those feet aren't too far apart. Good, let's go a little faster now for 10, nine eight seven six five four three two one then again use your chair if you need to rise up on both and lower both up and down up and down good and again and again all right let's go for five four three two one good job if you need to give those legs a little shake might be able to feel those calf muscles working all right we're going to take the feet out a little bit just underneath those shoulders we're going to do small squat like you're about to sit down so make sure if i move my chair again make sure you are, are hinging so you want to feel like you're about to sit down all right just as far as you can if those knees are not liking it don't go too deep don't do as many. Good, let's do five. Arms are relaxed. Four, three, two, and hold. Good, okay, so how deep you are depends on your knees. You're gonna bring those arms all the way up to the ears and all the way down five times, ready? One, feel the chest open. Two, not lifting the shoulders, opening the chest. Three, two more. Four, here's the last one. Five, good, and stand tall. Give those legs a little shake. Let's go back to rolling through the feet, tapping one heel at a time. Good, a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, rock onto your heels, turn those feet out. Squeeze that bum, belly button back. Rise up and down, up and down, up, up. Don't let those heels swing backwards. Keep squeezing your bum. Five more, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good, rock onto the heels, roll those feet forward again and give your legs a little shake. Good work, all right. Staying with that butt, keeping it squeezed. We're gonna take those legs out wider. Try and keep your back upright and little bend. Again, you don't need to go too deep. Little bend. Good. 
All right, let's do five more. You ready? Five. And four. And three. And two. And hold. Yes, did you hold? Lift that right heel. <clears throat> Tap it three times. One, two, three. Other leg. One, two, three. If you can, let's do it again. One, two, three. And again. One, two, three. Good. And up, squeezing that butt. Good. Shake it out. Good. So those legs are working now, yeah? <clears throat> okay. Bringing my chair back over for balance. Standing up nice and tall, although the chair's wobbling. <laughs> Stand up nice and tall. Let's take that right leg out to the side and in. Out to the side and in. Make sure you're pulling up out of that supporting leg. Good, we wanna feel that working, especially on that supporting side right now. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out if you need to, same leg coming forward. Keep pulling up. If you're lifting too high, you might find you sink into your hips, okay? Keep pulling up. Keep pulling up. Five more, one, two, three, four, five. Good, shake it out. You should really be starting to feel that through here. Now, if your back is starting to get sore, I want you to lower down the reps. So if we're doing 10, I want you to just do five, okay? Barely button, drawing back the whole time. We are taking the leg behind us. So I'll turn this way so you can see. Take it back and in. I'm not rocking forward too much, okay? So obviously depending on the flexibility you've got through your hips depends on where you're at with that. Back, back. Ready, five more. One, two, three, four, the last one, five. Good, so you can feel a lot of that right now on that supporting leg side, through the butt, through the hip, even down the leg a little bit. Right, give it a shake. Loosen it right up, because we're gonna repeat this now on the other leg. So I'm gonna take my chair, swing it to this side, and now the other leg. Take it out to the side, pull up tall out of that supporting leg and bring it in. Good. Keep pulling up. I know you've been working both sides, so you're gonna feel it quite quickly on this side. So I want you to make sure you keep lifting. If it's hurting your back, less repetitions, smaller movement. Four, three, two, one. This is where we can shake out those butts. Taking the leg forward, forward, two. Remember, you don't even have to get a lift off the floor. You can just take your leg forward, okay? Just don't stretch it out too much because I don't want you to sink into those hips. Feel that working in there? Five, four, keep pulling up. Three, focus on what the core is doing, your butt. Good, then you can shake it out. Give it a really good loosen, little extra jiggle before we go to the back. All right, standing tall, take the leg back and in. Two, Three, trying not to twist through the hips as well, okay? Your body might want to follow. You've got to try and fight that and just work within that limitation. All right, can you do five more? One, yeah, it hurts on the other side. Two, three, four, five. Good, I don't know about you, but I can feel that working. So I'm gonna give my legs a really good shake. Then I'm gonna take my hands into a pistol grip above my head, shoulders down, take the feet out. I'm gonna push that hip over to the right and I'm gonna to start to lean away from it until I can feel that stretch there. As soon as you feel the stretch, you can just hold two, three, four, Five, and now pull the hip in. Let's go to the other side, push it aside, and lean away from it till you can feel a little bit of a stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do that again to the right, lean away. You might be able to feel it more on one side than the other as well. So don't forget that's quite normal. Pull it in, push, lean. Good, and bring it in. 
All right, give those legs a really good shake. Okay, so we're gonna keep working through these legs. We are going to do stretches like that as we go along. So that next movement I'm gonna get you to do is actually a roll down. Now if you don't feel comfortable doing this because of balance and dizziness, please feel free to sit down and do this. Otherwise you can always hold on to your chair or a wall. Okay, you're gonna drop your chin down to your chest. You're gonna slowly start to roll yourself down, just letting your arms or one arm just hang underneath you. So if you're balancing by holding the chair, then one arm is gonna be hanging. And then we're gonna reverse it. So I want you to draw that belly button back and just slowly, slowly come all the way back to standing, making sure you feel balanced before you move again and shake it out. Good work. Okay, I feel odd with this chair on this side, so I'm gonna move it again. <laughs> okay, so we're facing the chair now. Working on that back muscle in your leg, your hamstring there. So we're gonna take the right leg back and we're gonna tap it. So I want you to try and push it up and tap. Try and avoid too much upper body movement because we do wanna try and loosen up that hip joint. All right, push one, two, three, four, five good now i'm going to get you to bend your knee flex your foot and push the heel so you're going to push from here push the heel two three four five and bring it in good how'd you go with that again if it hurts your back make your movement smaller let's try the other leg straight leg and tap one two three four five bend that knee flex the foot Push, two, three, four, five, and bring it in. Shake it out. Difference, so the bent knee, you're gonna activate here just that little bit more. When legs straight, it's a lot more of this muscle, okay? Let's try again. If you can, if your back's getting sore, have a rest. All right, back and lift for taps. One, two, three, four, five. Bend the knee, flex the foot. Push, two, three, four, five. Bring it in. Connect, tailbone tucks under, squeeze that bum. Leg back. One, two, three, four, five. Bend the leg, flex foot. Push, two, three, four, five. Bring it in. Shake it all about. Let's do another one of those roll downs. So again, if you want to sit down, you can. Hold onto your chair, roll yourself down. Let yourself hang. Relax that back here. Reverse it, drawing the belly button back until you're standing. Good work, how are you feeling? You want to sit down? Well, we're not going to. <laughs> we're gonna stay standing. Okay, I'm going to go back into those legs and those knees a little bit. So again, just be aware of how your knees feel while you're doing it, okay? Don't have to go too deep. Let's take those feet underneath the shoulders. And we'll do those little squats we did earlier. Two, three. Let's try and stand up tall in between each one. Hold this. Okay, we're going to come up and lift that right leg. Now what, I, what you can do, so level one, just keep it on the foot, just slide it in. Okay, so I'll keep it on the floor the whole time, okay? Back in the center and down. Now we're gonna bring, slide this one in to the other side. Do you get it? So we come out, we make sure we're centered, we come down. As we pull up, we're gonna bring ourselves over the left leg and slide that right foot in. Pull up out of your hips. Come down into the center and pull up to the other side. Yeah? All right, we're going to pick up the speed. What you've got to be careful of is that when you come down, you're not sort of like this, all right? I don't want you putting too much pressure into those knees. So we'll do it slowly. We come down and we pull up and center and down and we pull up and center. We come down, we pull up and center. We come down, we pull up and center. Again, down, up, center, down, 
up, center. I'm going to do four more, two on each side. I'm going to make it a little harder. So you can stay with what we just did. We're going to come down and up. It's off the floor and center. Down, up, a little harder. And again, down, up, center. This is the last one. Down, up, and center. Shake it out. Good work. How'd you go? How'd you go with the balance side of it? Balance is good. Okay, so again, you can use your chair for balance if you need to. You're going to take your right leg now and you're going to go back and bend the front one. I don't want you to bend too deep, okay, because you've got a lot of weight going into one knee here and you don't have to bend it all that much if you can't, okay. All right, from here, we're going to bring that arm to line up here beside the ear so that from fingers all the way down to that toe is one line. We're going to lift the leg, we're going to hinge at the hips, so you're going to come over and back. Okay, I want you to do that three times. One, two, can you move as one piece? Three, good, bring it in. So as well as working that supporting leg, we're working through those hips, that lower back as well. Okay, so keep your core strong. We're gonna change legs, which means we have to change arms, which means we need to change direction. <laughs> All right, so, Bend the knees, left leg back, line from head to toe. Bring the arm up by your ear, there. <laughs> so you're a line from your fingers to toe. Then we lift one, two, three. Now I don't expect you to do that without holding onto a chair or a wall or something, okay? <laughs> Let's go to the other side. You ready? Down, straight up with the arm, ready? One, two, three. Try not to lean on the wall. Still got to try and use that balance. Let's do the other side. Take it back. And one, two, three. Bring it in. Shake it all about. How are those knees feeling? They okay? All right. I'm gonna get you to have a drink. We are going to repeat that again, okay? So if the knees are starting to get tired, sit down, have your drink, and then hopefully you'll be ready to go. Just gotta check, I'm not sure I pressed play on my timer. No, I didn't, so I've got no idea how long we've been going. Awesome. So, what are we going to say? Let's just go with that. Are you ready to go again? Of course you are. So we started off with our squat small. It's more about transferring the weight. So I'm going to give you a chance to rest those knees if you need to, just by transferring your weight and doing this part of the movement without the squats, okay? If you can do the squat, you're coming down and you're pulling up. And you're coming down and you're pulling up. And if you wanted to make it harder, you can get the foot off the floor. Down and you're pulling up. Give the butt a little squeeze. Feel that pelvic floor lift. Down. 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 Good. Back to the center. Ready for that balance. Coming back. And lift one. And two. And three. The trick is to keep that arm in line that whole time. Don't let that arm drop down here. Other side. And one. And two. And three. You're like a seesaw. Think about the park and on the seesaw. Here's the seesaw. And it moves as one, two, three. Good, last set. And one, two, 
three and in good shake it out shake it out I'm going to let you sit down for a moment before we stand up again and you can grab your weights so have a seat hopefully you can see my feet okay it was a bit hard to get enough space in here and still stay in the shade as it's a warm day today okay so feet are flat on the floor we're resting those knees we have our weights in our hands of course I don't have any weights so mine are pretend all right you grab yours sit up tall belly button back use the backrest if you need to okay are you ready let's curl in for five and four three two one then turn the palms in and do your hammer curl and four three I'll be careful not to go too fast and one good loosen up if you need to because we're going to repeat it turn the palms and five four three two and one turn the palms hammer curl two three still sitting tall four five take your hands on your legs loosen up make sure that neck is not getting too tight or the shoulders okay because you're going to add you're going to start the bicep curl this way and finish it like a hammer curl start coming down with the palms turned in and then turn them to face forward again got it up and turn down and turn up and turn how are we going think about it watch what you're doing turn it have you lost it have you got it I nearly lost it start the turn as you're coming up start the turn as you're lowering five and four and three and two and one good hands on the legs loosen up how'd you go that's a tricky one shake it out loosen the neck okay so I want you to try not to lift your chin I want you to try and tuck it slightly okay you're not just letting the head drop it's sort of coming back just a little I've mentioned it before I want you to feel like you're trying to lengthen the back of your neck okay it might feel a bit awkward especially if you are starting to shorten at the back of the neck there okay so here bring the hands in and push it out we're just going to take the right arm up first five four three two one other side five four three two one are you ready to do both five four three two one good arms in lower down does the neck need to loosen up do so shoulders good work let's do that one again curl it in and out right arm push two three four one more five other arm push two three four can you do both still and push remember we don't want that chin starting to lift because that's just going to make it worse on the back of your neck one more push good in and down all right this time we're going to drop the chin to the chest you're going to arch your back and you're going to roll over and just let yourself hang over your legs let the back relax let your neck relax draw that tummy back to the spine and unroll and sit up again good work all right so we're going to tuck the feet under us and you're going to say how you feel if it's hurting your knees too much you can just sort of transfer the weight otherwise I'm going to get you to take your weights so you've got a little cross okay and your weights up against you so what we might do is take the right arm 
across and then the left over the top crossing at the uh, wrists not your ankles at your wrists okay feet are tucked under you belly button back and I want you to feel like you're lifting that pelvic floor up through your head and then sit down again how'd you go you ready up and up it's not as easy when you put those weights there as it might be at other times have a rest cross the arms the other way so now we have the left arm and the right arm on top all right so not sure whether you can notice it maybe you can after we do it the second time but with the arm that's over the top and the arm underneath they both sort of work at different strengths okay so that's why we cross it and change it so the different parts of the arms get that chance to work evenly all right up one two you don't have to get your bum all the way off the chair and three good did you notice it in the arms at all loosen up good work take those weights now up in front of you shoulders are down we're going to open up that chest squeeze those elbows and those shoulder blades and bring it in and open one and two again keep that chin tucked slightly we don't want the neck lifting uh, the chin lifting let's take those arms down good work hinge forward and pull back elbows past the rib cage three four one more five bring it in to relax shake it out loosen that neck good arms up in front let's do that again so if the neck is, the chin is lifting you're going to start to get super super tight there so just drop that chin a little and one two feel that squeeze between the shoulder blades one more good hinge forward and pull two three four one more five bring the arms in okay so let's go again right on first then the left all right feet tucked under you belly button back one see how close you can keep those arms to your body okay the weights are adding it a weight <laughs> to make it harder two more if you can last one good change those arms over again I think we did five before it's only meant to be three so if you did five two one good and bring it down all right I'm gonna get you give those legs a little shake loosen up your arms and shoulders we are going to stand up again and I'm gonna give you a chance to have another drink so up you come grab a drink So what you're going to need for this next part is just one of your weights, okay? Just one, not both. Okay, so I have my weight in my right hand and I have my left hand closest to my chair. So far so good? We're going back into our balance position that we had earlier, so I'm going to take the right leg back and put a small bend in that supporting leg okay we don't want to collapse here at the waist we want to keep our back nice and straight okay so weight in the right hand right leg is back okay you can leave your foot on the floor that's fine take that elbow up and up and up and up and once more up good bring it in okay we're going to take the other leg back but we're not changing arms other leg back let's go again five four three two one and bring it in now change hands turn around we now have the weight in the left hand we have the right hand on the chair we take the left leg back left hand left leg are you ready pull one two three four five bring it in do you want to go inside Matthew <laughs> change legs and pull one two 
three, four, five. Good. And bring it in. All right, let's go back to the first side. Press that weight back into your right hand. Turning around. Gonna make it harder, okay? And we're gonna take that right leg back, right hand weight, and we're going to lift it. Means I'm hinged further forward. Means the weight is going to work against gravity a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five. Then we bring it in, change legs, don't change hands. Lift the leg, so again, you hinge over when you lift the leg. One, two, three, four, five. And then you bring it in again. Now you can change arms and you can change legs. Turn around, take it back, lift the leg and pull. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it in. Change legs, not the arms. Make sure you're still bending that supporting leg a little. Lift and pull. Two, three, four, five. Bring it in. Good work. All right. Place your weight down. Give your legs a good shake. Let's bring those arms back up again. Take the legs out a little wider. Push that hip over, lean away again, give it a little stretch there through the hip, and then pull that hip in. Other side, push it away and lean. Good, and bring it in. And for the arms as well, we're gonna take the legs wider, take the right arm over and really stretch it out. And release, other side, stretch it out. And release. Good, give your legs a good shake. Give your arms a good shake. Roll those shoulders backwards. Good. All right, we're gonna go back to the legs. Okay, so you've got left hand on the chair, right arm is free. You're going to make a lunge. Foot's still on the floor, you can see my weight is forward, so my back heel is lifted. Not here, over here. And then bring it in. Pull up tall, lift out of the hips, lift that pelvic floor, okay? Then push it back. One, pull it in. Two, pull it in. Squeeze the bum, pull it in. Two more. Again, you don't have to de go too deep with your squat, okay? So now, we're going to lift that leg as we bring it through. Going back and pull it through. Back and pull it through. Three. And four. And five. Good. Take it down. Shake it out. While you shake it out, that's gonna do a run up past the camera and into the caravan. Because <laughs> he's standing there like he doesn't know what to do with himself. <laughs> Let's turn around and do the other leg. All right, take it back, bring it in. You're lifting here, back, in, back, in, back. Once more, good. Now pulling it right through, back, pull it through. Two, three, four, Good, shake it. Feel those legs working again, yeah. Shake it out really, really well. Good, okay. Right leg again, so facing the other way. I'm gonna bring the leg forward. It's lifted off the ground. Okay, I'm going to bend the knee and I'm gonna take the leg out to the side and forward. Out to the side, forward. Out to the side, out to the side, good. Now when you do that, I don't want you following that leg, okay? So you've got to feel how much rotation you have through your hips, all right? Let's try it on the other side, it might be different. Up and out, one and two and three and four and five, good. And down, right, let's start that again. Starting with the straight leg, 
going out and forward, out and forward, out. Drag that toe along the floor if it's hurting your back, okay? Good, bend the knee. One, pull up toe. Two, keep it small. Three, belly button back. Four, I think that's all. Oh no, you gotta breathe. Let's change legs. <laughs> Are you ready? Keep it straight, out, and two. And three, and four, and five. Good, bend the knee. One, and two, and three, four, five. Good, and down now. As I didn't start the timer, I don't really know where we are, but I'm pretty sure we're close to the end. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the lunge with the draw through, and then we're gonna add it all together with a bit of this movement as well, okay? So we're gonna do five of each on the first leg, then five of each on the other leg. Don't worry, I'll be there with you. Then we'll give it all a stretch and I reckon we'll be pretty much finished. So we start with that lunge. Right leg first, it goes back and we pull through. One, two, three, four. Now number five, we're gonna hold. And we're standing nice and straight, we're lifting out of the supporting leg. We take the leg out, two, three, four, and five. Good, and down. Got it? Let's do it on the other side. Stand up tall, and we lunge back, and pull through. One, two, three, four, and we hold. We're standing straight, we're not hinged, and we take it out, and two, and three, four, five. Good, and down. Give those legs a good shake. Make your lunge, right leg back. Really lunge and push that heel into the floor. Bring your weight forward so you get a really good stretch down the back there. Good, bring it in. Let's change to the other side. Other leg, lunge, stretch into that leg there. Try and open up that hip as well. Good, and bring it in. Let's go back to the first leg, and this time we're gonna take the right leg back and we're gonna make a small step. And we're gonna bend those knees. Now, just be careful of your knee here. We do wanna feel the stretch in through the ankle, that Achilles area, the calf muscle, the back there. But we don't wanna to put too much pressure in the knee. So when we stand, we've gotta engage. We've gotta lift that pelvic floor so we are light on the hips and light on the knees. Now turn around. And again, down we go. Stretches all the way down the back there. Remember, we wanna lift that pelvic floor. So we've gotta be light from here up, okay? And push. You're right, how we go. Shake it out. Ah, let's take those legs nice and wide. Let's do that side stretch again. So you can feel that stretching under the arm, down the side of the body and all the way into the hip. And then the other side. Over, stretch it right out. Good, and bring it in. Okay, I'm gonna get you to give your legs a really good shake. Come and stand in front of your chair so that you can feel the back of the, the front of the chair on the back of your legs. One day I'll get that spot on straight away. <laughs> Hinge and have a seat. Take your right foot out. Little lift off the floor so you can circle that ankle. Circle the ankle around. And the other way. Changing legs. Try and sit as tall as you can. Use the backrest if you need to. Change direction. Good, and feet flat on the floor. A little C curve, loosening up that pelvis and that lower back. Activating those tummy muscles. And again. And one more. 
Good, drop your chin to your chest, roll yourself all the way down to hang over your legs. Let those arms relax, they're heavy. Your head is heavy so you can feel that stretch in the neck as well. Draw the belly button back and roll back up and sit up tall. And again, chin to the chest, roll it down. Hanging, belly button back and all the way back up. I'm going to get you to place your hands on your lower back so your fingertips are facing your bum and arch yourself backwards. And bring it back in. Good, let the arms hang by your side and squeeze that waistline. And over to the other side, squeeze. And back to the top, drop your chin to your chest. And all the way up to the sky. Down again. And back up. To the center. Good, float the arms out in front of you, open out and squeeze back. One, and two, and three, four, one more, five. Good, arm up, hand drops behind you. See if you can grab hold and pull it in. And release, other arm up, hand drops down. See if you can pull it in. Good, and release, lift the shoulders up and lower them all the way down. Now turn your head over your shoulder, all the way around again and again around and around. Come back to the, uh, to the right and three head nods. One and two and three and around. One, two, three to the front ear drops down and over good breathe in and out shoulders up and down elbows back and deep breath out let's do that once more in and out shoulders up and down elbows back and release. Well done everyone, good job. Right, get out there, go and enjoy the rest of your week, the rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed your class. Let me know how you're getting on as well. I know some of you do send me messages, that's fine. It's great to hear from you guys and that you're still doing the workouts as well. So keep that up. Don't forget, all the uh, focus classes that I put out there, I put something in there for seated and standing people as well. So if, there's, if it's an ab one, there'll be something suitable for you guys as well if you don't want to get down on the floor, okay? So all the focus stuff is suitable for everyone. So get out there, use all the clips that I'm giving you, um, make the most of it. Enjoy yourself and I'll speak to you all again soon. See you later.